We're going to start this hour with the nationwide economic recovery from the coronavirus. A group of senators is pitching more relief for small businesses, those with 100 employees or fewer. This push comes as Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin gets ready to testify today on the CARES Act and the Paycheck Protection Program. Joining us right now to talk about all of this is Senator Jean Shaheen of New Hampshire. She's a member of the Small Business Committee that's going to be hearing today's testimony. Senator, thank you for being with us. And this nice to be with uh, announcement is just being made. It, it, this announcement is just being made in the last couple of minutes. Why don't you tell us uh, what it includes and, and the other senators who are, are doing this with you? You know, New Hampshire is a small business state, and I've heard from a lot of small businesses that they got the, the PPP loan early, they play by the rules, um, but now they're about to run out of money. Um, this week and next week, we're going to see those loans coming due. And for many of them, particularly in the hospitality industry, they were shut down the first, they're the last to open, and they're worried that if they don't get some additional help, they're going to go out of business. So this is an effort to respond both to that concern and also to the concern of so many very small businesses, the mom and pop shops with under 10 employees who had trouble early on getting the loans because the way the guidance got rolled out, um, many of the bigger companies who had long-term relationships with some of the big banks got the money first. And so we want to try and ensure that some of those smaller businesses get actual get the help they need. You you are proposing this with, with two of your Democratic colleagues, though, I, I believe Senator Coons and Cardin. And I just wonder, it, it seems to me like the, the era of bipartisanship is, is starting to come apart again at, at, at some point, because different senators represent different states and different stages of, of reopening and being back in business. Um, what, what is the reaction you think you'll get from your Republican colleagues on this? Well, I hope they will be helpful. The original uh, small business provisions in the CARES relief package were bipartisan. I work with Senator Cardin and Senator Rubio and Collins. The four of us helped design that program and got a lot of support for that. And I'm sure that everyone across the country is hearing from their constituents that small businesses still need help. And we need to be able to provide that help. So we, we wanted to go ahead and put together provisions in a bill that we could then try and get some bipartisan support for. So we're going to be working on that. And hopefully the administration will help as well. As you pointed out, Secretary Mnuchin and Administrator Carranza are going to be before the Small Business Committee. Um, we have a lot of questions for them. And one of the questions I have is, are you going to support this effort to ensure that small businesses can stay afloat? Have you spoken with either Senators Rubio or Collins to this point about this idea that you have right now, this new proposal? Um, I have, and both of them have expressed interest. We haven't yet um, gotten their support for our sponsorship for the legislation, but we will be continuing to talk to them. I, I guess the reason I, I push this, Senator, is just that we, we have started to hear kind of the splintering of opinions at this point. And, and, and that comes from uh, places like Senator Ted Cruz, who has, has tried to make sure he's threading a fine needle with this. He does say he wants to make sure he supports the police departments and first responders. Uh, we, we've heard um, from the senator down in Florida, who, who, who talked a little bit, Rick Scott, about how he's concerned about the amount of money that we're spending at this point. And and you can understand it from different states' perspectives where they have been open for business, where they have um, kind of tried to get back and, and reopen things. Uh, here in the Northeast, we, we tend to look at things a little differently because we've been in the hot zone and we have been uh, shuttered for much longer. We've had much higher number of cases. And I, I guess I just wonder how, how do you do that outreach and are you concerned at this point about it not being necessarily a, a national perspective that's coming to this at this point? I actually think there is a national perspective among the business community that they continue to need help. And as I said, one of the groups I've heard from nationally is the hospitality industry, who feels like mm -hmm. they have been among the hardest hit. The tourism industry, where people who do big venues still are not able to open up. And that's true, not just in the Northeast, but across the country. I think it's incumbent on all of us and what we've heard from Jay Powell, what we've heard from economists across the country is the worst thing we could do right now is to pull back 
on our efforts to stimulate the economy because what we need to do is encourage businesses, encourage growth, encourage the economy to open back up. And virtually every state in the country is in some phase of reopening. We are in New Hampshire. But so it's incumbent on all of us, I think, to try and continue to support that economic reopening and um, people getting back their jobs. And that's how we're going to get this economy moving again.